Today is the first day of the Santa Claus Rally. This term was coined by Stock Traders Almanac in the 1970s, and the Santa Claus Rally encompasses the final five trading days of the year and the first two trading sessions of the new year. According to data from LPL Financial, the Santa Claus Rally is the most likely seven days to be higher in any given year. Since 1950, the Santa Claus Rally period has produced a positive return for the S&P 500 78.9% of the time, with an average return of 1.33%. But keep in mind that most stocks, even the very best, follow the market direction and with the futures market trading higher, it looks like the markets will come out strong today, even though the airlines canceled over 3,000 flights over the Christmas weekend due to Omicron COVID cases wreaking havoc on airline staff and crews. Just remember that the trend is our friend and if the markets can shake Omicron, we could have a very strong Santa Claus rally. Before we get into today's video, be sure to click on the like button and check out BeastModeAnalysis.com where you can get all of your stock fundamentals data, pull and save your own stock scorecards, and do side-by-side -side fundamental analyses for multiple stocks at the same time. And if you want to use my technical indicators for Thinkorswim or TradingView, those links are in the description down below. Let's kick things off today with a success story from I am a money magnet. Thanks, Jerry, for your video on Tesla. I bought this leverage stock yesterday, and I am already up 12.7%. Last week, I bought another $50,000 of Tesla and sent out a buy alert in Discord. And if you want my trade alerts, hot stocks, and indicators, just join us on Discord. All right, now it's time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock market channel. Based on over 70 years of statistics, we have a 79% chance that the next seven trading days will give the S&P 500 an average 1.3% gain. This gives us a great window to crank out some nice year-end gains. And if you choose your options well, this could be a phenomenal week. And my top five picks today are fundamentally strong stocks that I like not only for this week, but for the long term. Let's jump into beastmodeanalysis.com. All right, the five stocks we're looking at today are Tesla, ticker TSLA, NVIDIA, NVDA, Fortinet, FTNT, Life Storage, LSI. These guys have been on a really good run. And Costco, ticker COST. And Costco is the one that I expect to have the lowest gains this week, but it's still a very solid fundamental play. And it's one that I do want to own in 2022. So that's why it's included here today. Looking at our beast mode spreadsheet, we can see our current stock prices listed, industry sector, where it's traded, all of our basic information and the beast mode is color coded where light blue is the most important and then light green is the second most important and if you need any additional information all you do is hover over an eye you'll get a pop-up that explains absolutely everything and we have this for all of our different data points which makes it really easy to understand fundamental analysis looking at our PE ratios we can see our lowest on the day is going to be Costco at 47.3 and our highest is Tesla at 292.1 so all of our companies are positive and they are all profitable. And our beast mode is broken down into different sections, which makes it really easy to understand fundamental analysis when you've got the data presented the right way. So our first section that we're looking at right here is the income statement. And this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. So for the operating margin, we always want that to come in above 10% whenever possible. Of course, growth stocks and growth companies, that number will be lower. So Tesla, they're still a growth stock. Their operating margin is 6.32%. And if we look over here at Costco, we can see that their operating margin is only 3.42%. So these guys actually operate on very slim margins, but that's normal for the type of business they're in. But if we look at the ones with the really big margins that we love, check out Life Storage, very strong at 43.2%. And then for the net income margin, the higher the percentage, the better. Our winner on the day here is Life Storage at 28.09%. And then NVIDIA is also very strong at 25.97%. And Fortinet equally strong at 18.82%. Next up, we've got our per share data, and this allows us to compare important per share data between companies. If we start with the revenue per share ratio, the revenue per share computes the total revenue earned per share over a designated period. It is calculated by dividing total revenue by the average total shares outstanding. So our revenue per share, our strongest one is actually Costco at $440.94. But if we look at the ratio, this is how we can compare them side by side for a comparison, and they are still the strongest here at 0.8. Then if we come down to the B, 
EBITDA per share ratio, we can look up the definition and know that EBITDA is essentially the net income or earnings with interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization added back. EBITDA can be used to analyze and compare profitability among companies and industries as it eliminates the effects of financing and capital expenditures. So here we can see our strongest ratio is also going to be Costco. Very strong. The balance sheet, this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable. And I create what I call the tattle ratio because it tattles on the stock's underlying strength. And that's just comparing the total assets to the total liabilities. I love it when that tattle ratio comes in at two or higher. So if we jump over here to LSI, we can see they're at a two and their total assets are 4.7 billion. Their total liabilities are 2.35 billion. And that's why their tattle ratio is 2.01. Our strongest on the day here, lots of assets. Good tattle ratio is NVIDIA at 2.0. 2.42. We've got LSI at 2 and even Tesla is very strong here at 1.79 key performance metrics, these are all very insightful to a company's overall condition. And here we want to see a lot of black and blue. We don't like to see red for long-term, fundamentally strong companies. And you'll notice none of these companies have anything red. So we can start off with our revenue growth last year. Our winner here was NVIDIA at 52.72%. For free cash flow margin, our strongest on the day is LSI at 55.4%. For the rule of 40 indicator, uh, this is a really nice indicator and it measures a company's combined growth rate and profit profit margin and many venture capital and growth equity investors believe this ratio should exceed 40% especially for software companies so anytime we have a high rule of 40 indicator on an established company with a low PE ratio that is absolutely phenomenal so here Nvidia is our strongest at 80.86 but everybody's looking really good here we've got Tesla coming in at 36.9% we've got FTNT at 56.8 LSI at 61.03 and even Costco's coming in pretty good here for a very low PE company at 20.23. The FNR indicator, this is another one that I like, and this is simply the free cash flow, the net income margin, and the revenue growth. And what we look for here is the highest number overall. Our best here is NVIDIA, and they've got three out of the top five categories. And then our book value ratio, we love it whenever it's one or higher. And our strongest one on the day here is LSI at 0.15. So nothing really jumps off the charts here. Next section is management effectiveness, and this tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. If you're a long-term investor, you really want to focus on this section right here. Most people look at the return on equity, and that's a great one to look at. Our strongest here is FTNT at 44.4, but the 5R indicator, this totals up all of our different return ons. It gives us a sum total, and this is a quick way to look at the strength. And here, our strongest one is also FTNT at 144.7. Another very strong one here is going to be Costco coming in at 96.9. And our low one on the day here is Tesla at 20.9. And our last section here is the growth metrics and companies should be consistently growing their business. First thing we notice is Tesla is pretty much owning this section of our spreadsheet. Net income growth 179.3, gross profit growth 62.9, free cash flow. You can see all of the numbers here exceptionally strong. Some of these other guys coming in really well. Nvidia at 54.9% is great. Fortinet at 47.3 is great. For LSI, we've got a little bit of a red flag where their net income growth was down 41.4%. And then we've got Costco growing very strong at 25.1. And I really like Costco as an inflation play. People are going to be looking to save money. Where do they go? Well, Costco is one of the first places that people go. So I really love this stock as an inflation play. And now it's time for the Crypto Minute to see if anything looks good to buy or sell. No hype, no drama, just technical analysis on Crypto Made Easy. For the Crypto Minute, we're going to start with Bitcoin and we've got a lot to cover today. So looking at Bitcoin here, we can see it is up just a little bit. Looking at the chart here, we can see it looks like it might have formed a bottom. It's starting to come up. It's currently over the 20 day moving average, but the price is still below the 50 and 100 day moving average. And this is a little bit of a reason for concern. For me, I'd like to have the price above all three of the different moving averages. Looking at the Momentum Dream Indicator, we can see that we are in a squeeze right now. Everything is not stacked in our favor and that's why we've got a red stack sign. And then if we come over here, we can see our squeeze right now. Our momentum is up. And if we come down to the buy sell indicator, we can see that we're in a short term bullish trend and it's telling us to get ready early entry or high conviction. So if this was a high conviction coin for you, you could consider buying it now. 
For Ethereum, we've got a similar story on our setup. We are in a squeeze. Momentum is going up. We are also at the get ready, early entry or high conviction trade. But if we come down and we look at the chart up here, we can see that we're in a little bit of a stronger position because our price is above the 20 and the 100 day moving average. And it's almost ready to pop over that 50 day moving average. So we're getting closer to a buy signal on Ethereum. We're now looking at Sandbox on the daily chart. Here we can see we had a bottom form. We picked up a buy signal right here, this JBS. And if we come down at our Momentum Dream Indicator, we can see we had a squeeze going on. We picked up that buy signal, this little triangle right here. This little triangle right here tells us when the Momentum Squeeze fired. And if we come down to our Buy Sell Indicator, we can see we fired a buy on the 23rd and it has gone up very nicely since then. Now let's pop over to the four hour just to say we wanted to add another position. And if we look at this right now, we would say that we want to hold off right now because we are currently red on red on a four hour chart our momentum is in the red which is not good and on the four hour we've got a very short term bearish trend and we're in the warning zone so although this one has done well and popped a buy signal a few days ago my current position on this would be to wait we're now looking at Matic coin, and this is a great example of the indicators working exactly the way we want them to and showing us what we want to see. First off, we're going to start with the TV bar, and we've got everything in bright green. In one week, these guys are up 14.9%. One month, 26.1%. We can see the chart here. We can see that we fired a buy signal right here at 249, and it's shot all the way up to almost 290. Coming down on our Momentum Dream indicator, we can see we had a squeeze going. It fired, and everything went up, which is exactly what we want. And on our buy sell indicator, we had a buy signal. Our short term trend is bullish and we are in the buy zone. Let's jump over to the four hour chart. And here we can see that we are green on green. The short term trend is bullish and we are still in the buy zone. So everything is looking strong here and you could consider adding Matic. Our last coin that we're going to look at today is Shiba Inu. It's been in the headlines so much. And if we look at the last two months, they're actually down 29%. Everybody went crazy at this point, And I was the one guy saying, hey, man, not so fast. It's not looking so strong. We can see that it has came down. Looks like it's formed a bottom and it's starting to come back up. Looking at our momentum dream indicator, we can see that the momentum is coming up. So that is a good thing. A squeeze just fired on it. And our price is now above all of our different moving averages. And we'd like to see this 20 day moving average pop over that 50 day. So this one is setting up for a potential run. I would recommend waiting on it a little bit longer. And what we want to see is a buy signal on our buy sell indicator. And right now we are at the early stage. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you've not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out beastmodeanalysis.com where you can easily research stocks based on fundamental data. And if you'd like to get free stocks, free crypto, or to earn up to 8.6% interest on your money, check out my promo links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.